So this is video 7000, because I'm on 5 million videos. Um, right, so it says, show that the curve has only one point of inflection and find the, the coordinates. So I want to find, so the first thing I want to do is find d2y by dx squared. There. So if I differentiate it, so I've got dy by dx is 2e to the 2x minus 12x, and then differentiate it again. So it's going to be 4e to the 2x minus 12. <laughs> Why is this different? <laughs> ah, my pack is different. Oh, right, here we go. Right, keep going anyway. So the points of inflection, I'm going to look where d2y by dx squared is equal to zero. So 4e to the 2x minus 12 is equal to zero. Take the 12 over. Divide by the 4, it gives me um, e to the 2x is 3. If I take logs of it, I've got 2x is ln 3. So x is a half ln 3. So that's where I think my um, point of inflection is at. Now it wants the coordinates, doesn't it? So... Right, so I want to make, first of all, I just want to see if it is actually concave. Now a half ln3, so let me pause the, I haven't got a lot of time for this, I just want to get a value for a half ln3. Right, so that's roughly 0 0.549, roughly. Right, so I'm going to check on either side of it. So I'm going to, I've got this now, so I just want to check on either side. So I'll check on either side. I'll check d2y by dx squared on either side. So if that, I'm going to try 0 0.4, and I'll put that into d2y by dx squared. So that's going to be 4e, two lots of 0 0.4 minus 12, and that gives us minus 3.1, and I'm going to try 0 0.6, so I'm trying either side of the second differential. So 4e to 2 lots of 0 0.6 minus 12, and that is 1.28. There's a change there, I need to randomly say that that is less than 0 and that is greater than 0. I have to say that, which is just silly really. So there's a sign change. So the point of inflection is definitely at x is a half ln3. Now it wants the coordinates of that point, doesn't it? It's all going dark in here, so a second. Let's walk into the back of the room. Doing a lap of the room to get the sensor. It's one of the sensors that doesn't work properly. Right, so I actually want the exact coordinates. So if I use x is a half ln3 and sub it into there, I get out. So the half and the 2 cancel, the e and the ln cancel, so I get a 3. I've got 6 times a quarter is 3 over 2. And then ln of 3, which is all squared, which you can't do anything with. So the coordinate would be a half ln 3, comma, 3 minus 3 over 2, ln 3, all squared. So that's the, whew, that's that part of it. Right, so it says state the values for being concave. So, I'm, so just double checking what we're doing. We found the second differential. We found where we think the point of inflection is. We've looked on either side of it. There's a sign change, so we know it's definitely a point of inflection. Uh, the concave bit is where it, it's less than zero, so that's going to be less than about, around the 0 0.4 side. So it's going to be less than the half ln 3 as it stops now. So concave, less than half.